Today I'm picking on YouTube again. I found a UI for viewing replies to comments on YouTube that I thought could be improved by using a more typical iOS style transition. And so I'm gonna recreate that UI in Flinto, do it the way that it exists currently, and then make my improvement to test out my idea. I'll be building some simple transitions in the transition designer. If you wanna learn more how to create your own transitions, check the other videos on this channel. We have a lot of tutorials on how to do the details of the type of work I'm about to do. I've set up three screens in Flinto representing the different views of the comment section on YouTube. You can see two of them here, and this represents the way it actually works on YouTube. And then I'll show you the third screen, which is my improvement. So I'm gonna set up a link from this view replies to the screen that has the replies on it and create a new transition. In the transition designer, I'll start by aligning the screens. And the way this works on YouTube is the replies start from the bottom and slide up. So I'll put the replies down below and I don't need to do anything about the video portion because it looks the same on both screens. So I'll toggle this transition and you can see the replies slide up and down. And that's just how it works in the YouTube app. So I'll name this old because this is the existing way it works. And uh, let me just make sure I have a backlink on this X button that takes me back to the initial view. And let's check this out in the preview. So I can tap on view replies and I can exit out of it. So that's the one that I have some problems with. Now down here I have a screen where I've changed the layout a little bit. So let me show you that screen. I've got a little back button here. I've centered the all replies text in the middle. And so I'm gonna make a new transition for this separate link. And I'm gonna start by aligning the screens. This time I'm gonna move the replies off to the right to kind of follow the iOS push transition format. And then the existing comments I'll move off to the left and I'll just fade those out a little bit. And now I find this a little bit more familiar on iOS. So I'll name this transition new and I wanna make sure that I have a backlink here so that I can get back. And I'm also going to add a link that goes down the left edge, which is a swipe gesture. So I'll set this to right swipe and that'll allow me to do the iOS swipe from edge gesture to get back. Now, I think that part is really important because when you pop up these comments and you wanna get back, it's easy to swipe back, but if you have to reach up for the X button, it's a bit harder. When you have this sliding up, it would be kind of awkward to, sl to swipe from the left uh, and have it go back because it would the animation would be going up and down rather than left to right. So that's why I think this is an improvement. And you can see that that was very quick to set up in Flinto and kind of lets me validate this idea. Cause when I started, I thought maybe I'll run into some issue and I'll kind of realize why they set it up the way they did. But I actually think this works well. And uh, it's nice to be able to use Flinto to verify that kind of thing, to validate it, to test it out and to be able to share the result.